Hi, I'm Mark Needham with StarTree, and in this video we're going to learn how to merge segments in real-time tables. Now the first question you might be asking yourself is, why would I want to merge segments? And the reason is that if we have segments that are too small, that will result in higher latencies when processing queries. And there are a couple of reasons why we might end up with segments that are too small. So the first one is, perhaps we set the segment threshold too low. And then the second one is, perhaps there was a period of time where there were fewer events generated, and so that's resulted in segments that are a bit smaller than what we normally get. Now merging these segments can help our query performance, so let's learn how to do it. We're gonna use the KCAT tool to have a look at a stream of events relatively simple ones coming in on the events topic in Kafka. And as you can see, we've got a timestamp, we've got a UID, and we've got a count. Now let's have a look at how to get that data into Pino. So we're gonna look at the schema first. You can see we've got a dimension field for UID, we've got a metric field for count, and then we've got a timestamp as well. Now let's move over to the table config. So you can see here, we've got a real-time table set up for, ev for uh, events. And if we scroll down, we can see we've got a quite a, a low threshold set. So this is to, to deliberately create really small segments. And then notice under batch ingestion config, we need to specify a segment ingestion type and a segment ingestion frequency. Now that config is needed to get this to work in 0 0.12, but in 0 0.13, this won't be needed anymore. And if we come down even more, we can see under tasks, we've got task type configs map, and we've got our, something called the merge rollup task. And this is what is going to do the merging of the segments for us. And we've got three different uh, properties in here. So the first one is we're saying uh, the merge type is concat, and that means it's not going to do any aggregation of the data. So it's just going to roll up the data as it is, no, 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 no compressing it. Uh, the next one down is the bucket time period. So this is what, what time period are we going to use to bucket the records? So it's going to use a five minutes. And then finally, we've got a buffer time period. So that means it's going to only process records from more than two minutes ago in this case. You'd probably use bigger values in there if you were doing this uh, for real, but for this example, we're using quite small values. And then the other thing that we've got set up on this local Pinot cluster is that our controller was started with this config here. And in particular, look at those last two lines. So we're enabling the, the, the task scheduler to run, and then we've set a frequency period of five minutes. And that, so that what that effectively means is that in combination with that table config, uh, with the, the merge rollup task, it means it's gonna run it every five minutes. Again, you'd probably put this to a much higher value, maybe once an hour, perhaps once a day, depending on, uh, depending on the, the amount of data that you're ingesting. So now that we've done that, let's, ha let's add the table. So we'll call our add table command, passing in the schema and the table, and we'll leave that running for a few seconds. And you can see now it says, hey, we've got our table. So let's now navigate over to the Pinot UI to check that the data has been ingested. So we'll start with just a simple query. So select star from events, and we can see the records are coming in. Now we're gonna write another query, and we're gonna be using a, a special a virtual column name called dollar segment name. And so this will allow us to work out like which record, how many records there are for each segment name. So we're going to get select the segment name, we're going to do a count star, and then we're going to get the minimum timestamp for that segment and the maximum timestamp as well. And then we'll say from the events table, group by the segment name, and then order maybe by the max timestamp. And so you can see back here, just in that time that we've been uh, running the, the, the Kafka ingestion, we've got uh, four different segments. We've got a, a zero, one, two, and three, and you can see they've got varying amounts of records. Now let's get back to the command line again. And we're going to manually run the merge rollup task. So we'll specify the name of our table and then we're going to call the curl command and we'll call a task. To, we're going to schedule a task. We'll give it the name of our task. In this case, it's merge rollup task and the table name. And we run that and you can see back, you can see we get back a merge rollup task with, a, with an ID. And we could then go and look up that task to see its progress, but it will be so fast it will probably be already done, um, to be honest. If you run this and it gives back null, it means there's nothing to merge at this time, which is which is fine, it's not it's not a problem. Let's go back to the Pinot UI and see what's happened. So if we run that query again, the one with segment name, you can see we've now got another couple of segments on the bottom. So we've got uh, merged underscore 5M, 2M, and then, and then a couple of other things. And you can see one of them is picking up the data from 1546 to 1550, and then the next one sort of started at 1550 and gone up uh, maybe a few seconds from there. Segment zero and one have now gone. Now just keep in mind that they'll probably still be on the disk until the retention job runs and, and cleans them up. 
And, and those segments were merged. Remember, those segments were merged, those new ones, by us manually triggering the job. But if you were to keep this example running, remember that we've also got that automatic running of the job and that will be triggered every five minutes. And so this will keep on, keep on happening as long as data's coming in. And so that's the end of this video in which we've learned about merging real-time segments in Apache Pino. Give it a try and let us know how you get on and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.